films that you watch and come out with a feeling, if only if it was not so tiresome, if only it was half its length, this could have been a masterpiece. Sita Ram by director Hanu Raghavapuri gives you exactly this impression after you sit through about 163 minutes, nearly three hours. You get this feel that Telugu cinema seems to survive outside the craft of an editor. When will we realize that good cinema is also about being tight, being taught, and making cinema for about two hours? I think Tollywood needs to understand that one hour, 45 minutes, or 120 minutes is a beautiful time to tell a story. Look at the cast. You get somebody like Vilkir Salman and Runal Thakur into a film, which in itself is an interesting paradigm. The fact that somebody in Telugu cinema wanted Vilkir to come in and play the protagonist is story enough, is imagination enough to make a wonderful film. This is not where the virtues in the cinema ends. We'll deal with the film and then I'll come back to what is its underway. A frame in an interesting performance from Rashmika is a girl who is committed to Pakistan and is a Hindu Indian hater who destroys a car of the dean in an Western university and has to pay up for it or suffer rustication. So she comes home to grandpa. Unfortunately, she realizes that grandpa, Captain Tariq, played by Sachin, is dead. He leaves behind a will and her pro his property goes to her provided. 20 years later, there is this letter that she has to deliver, delayed by 20 years in the hands of the dying Captain Tariq of Pakistan to Captain Rock. Wife or lady love, Sita. She believes this to be ridiculous, but she's character enough to travel to India to get this letter to Sita, the mystery woman in the life of Lieutenant Rock. This story could have been a romance, bubbling romance between Lieutenant Ram and mystery lady Sita, built in the backdrop of a war where Ram sacrifices his life for his country. This could have been a beautiful story. Unfortunately, editor K. Venkateshwar Ram bucks it up. He takes every shot made into a film and introduces into the story. So you have needless songs coming in, notwithstanding that Vishal Chandrasekhar gives you good music in the film. There's amazing cinematography by Vinod and Shreyas Krishna. But all this is mismanaged and edited tale. Because Venkateshwar Rao's love for what is canned is what should be shown. So what happens is that it becomes difficult for a friend to reach out to Sita, who is the mystery woman, played by Mrinal Thakur, whose love story with the man in the armed forces in the frontier, Lieutenant Ram, begins when she knows that he's an orphan. And in the midst of multiple letters that he gets from people, who love him as a brother, there is this one lady who writes a romantic love story. The romance builds up, blooms. Unfortunately, there is this huge trail of jingoism, patriotism, hate Pakistan, uh, chest beating patriotic story being told about they the bad guys, we the good guys, they don't respect the Geneva Convention, we are very good. 
POWs in India are very well taken care of. They are not well taken care of. They're all this parallel head park takes the front line of an otherwise endearing story of a love that a lieutenant has in all his innocence for the lady he loves. How he stays back or lands up in the prison itself is a tale of heroics, a story of humanity and how his own people undo him and not the enemy is where you have characters like uh, Sumant coming in as Brigadier Vishnu Sharma. If the undoing of the movie is its length, its mainstay is the brilliance, the endearing performance of Bilkej Salman. Can you believe it? You're watching a Telugu film where the hero is not beating his thighs, is not throwing up dust, and is romanticizing both national good, love for people, and for his lady love with the signature smile of this actor. If this is the sign of things to come, the welcome director Hanu Raga Puri to more cinema with such actors. However, the undoing of the film, apart from its editing, is also Brunal Thakur, who is somewhere asleep walking, her mystery women. I think the best way to look at mystery women characters is to look at how Sadhna performed this in her times. You don't have to look faded, jaded and drunk. And that's what Mirnal is doing through the film. On the other hand, our frame is all brimstone and fire, which has come out with a brilliant performance. Important people like Sachin, Gautam Vasudevan, Bhumika Chavla, Sunil, uh, Dino Anand, Murli Sharma, all of them reduced to props, but overcoming all this in arguably one of the most endearing performances in recent times is Bilkir Salman. I know he has a very niche audience that loves his performance. I hope it expands. I watch Sitaram only for Bilkir. It's an interesting plot. It has nuances which are hitherto undone up in Telugu cinema. It does not necessarily fall into the typical templates that Telugu cinema finds itself comfortable in. Unfortunately, it lasts 163 minutes. Otherwise, go for it. See that. Uh, sign off, acknowledging Abhinav and Datu for everything that made this possible. Thank you very much and good day.